Hello and welcome back to another post-production tutorial. In this video, we're going to have a look at color grading using the Elgato Stream Deck. I'll be using the Colorist Icon Pack, which is available on my website at the link below. I've got two red shots here from a music video that I graded last month, and we're going to use the shortcuts that I've made in the Colorist Icon Pack to grade these two shots. The first thing I've done here is I've added a color space transform node to both of these shots. In this node, I'm transforming the red color space and gamma into my timeline color space and gamma, which in this case is Rec 709. The output color space and gamma are both set in the project settings. If we go into the project page of the Elgato Stream Deck and head to the project settings button, this automatically opens up our project settings. And if we go to the color management, you can see the timeline color space is set to Rec 709. We can exit this view with the escape key. On the project page in the Elgato Stream Deck, you can also access preferences, the project manager, the keyboard shortcuts key, and your data burn-ins. I'll go ahead and hit save on this. So this is the first shot of our music video, and the first thing we're going to do is add a node and add some printer lights to this node to balance this shot. To do that, I'm going to go to the nodes profile on my Stream Deck and add a new serial node. And I'm going to label this printer lights. I'm going to go back to our home menu and go to the printer lights tab. Now, if these printer lights aren't working for you, make sure to toggle on printer lights. If you don't have the Stream Deck, the printer lights toggle can be found in the color menu. And I'm just going to add in some blue to my image just to balance this out. Okay, cool. This is looking a little bit purple, so I'm going to add some green as well. And I might just bump my overall exposure down. Cool. To preview my node on and off, I'm going to jump to the nodes and I'm going to bypass this node. So that's looking a lot more balanced. Staying in the nodes profile, I'm just going to add a new node and we're going to label this one luminance and I'm just going to add some contrast here and up the gamma just a touch. My second to last step, I'm going to add another serial node, label this one and we'll call it color. Let's add a little bit of saturation in here and just balance out the skid tones just a touch. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. To finish off the image maybe, we might go to the shapes and tracking profile and go ahead and add a circular shape. We can show the highlight on and off here. And I'm going to stretch this out, turn this into a vignette, make sure that the inverse of this shape is selected. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring the gamma down just a touch. I'm gonna go back to the nodes and just label this vignette. Jumping across to the next shot, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the grading tab you can see that there's two options here. We can either apply the grade from one prior or apply the grade from two prior. And in this case, I'm gonna hit the apply grade from prior button. And this gives us our starting point. Heading to the nodes tab, I'm just gonna cycle back to our printer lights and go ahead and add a little bit of exposure here. Jumping over to our luminance node, I'm just gonna increase the contrast a touch and increase the gamma just a little. I might also bring the lift down just a little bit more. Now for this image, I think that the vignette is causing the top half to be a little bit crunchy. So I'm gonna go over to my vignette and I'm gonna jump up to the parallel node button. Go ahead and click that. And we'll label this gradient. And I'm gonna go into my shapes, add a gradient layer and stretch this up to the top half of the image. And go ahead and increase my gamma and increase my contrast a touch and maybe my gain just a touch. Okay, and if we bypass this grade on and off, you can see that that's just rebalancing the image a little bit. Go up to my vignette, increase the softness and just maybe decrease the size. And that's looking pretty good. If we jump back and forth between our images, that's an okay matching pass. A couple of the features that we didn't touch on, we can clear a grade or we can clear the entire node tree if we so wish. We can add more types of nodes, so we can add a layer node here, we can add a node to the end of the node tree here, or we can add a node before the selected node, so I'll click this here, and we've created a node before this node. In the shapes and tracking menu, we can create all of these shapes, label nodes, and we can track shapes using these playback controls here. Also in the printer lights menu, we can also adjust our cyan magenta yellow, and we can also use half printer lights or quarter printer lights depending on the strength of our adjustments. And if we want to toggle off printer lights, we can do that here. 
Okay guys, and that's a simple tutorial on how to color grade using the Elgato Stream Deck. If you've got an Elgato Stream Deck but don't want to spend time into building your own profiles or you know, finding your own icons, this pack is definitely for you. There's 11 custom profiles which go from conforming to project management to printer lights to versioning and playhead management. It's all in this pack. If you're interested, head along to my website. It's in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next tutorial.